Hey, it's Andrew here from Backcountry Skiing Canada. We're at the SIA on on snow demo in uh, at Copper in uh, Colorado, and I'm here with Ermi Catino, who is the DPS guy. And uh, I've taken these um, new models out for a couple runs and love them. And I just wanted Ermi to tell us a little bit about what's so special about the skis. Yeah. So this is uh, Tour One. So. A new construction for us, it's our fourth construction for DPS and the whole idea behind Tour 1 is we've been playing with carbon uh, for pretty much like 10 years now. So um, this takes our pre-preg uh, carbon laminate and it has a balsa core uh, to cap construction and basically they're about 300 to 400 grams lighter than the Pier 3 counterparts. Right, okay. Yeah. That, uh, yeah, I've skied on the Pier 3s before and these are noticeably uh, noticeably lighter. Yeah, so it's really, you know, there's a lot of backcountry skis out there and this, this really goes after, you know, focus on the up but there's a lot of backcountry skis that maybe are a little soft on the down and we wanted yep. to address really downhill performance. No, for sure. And what is what is it about the construction in particular that makes it feel like it's a more substantial ski than some carbon fiber skis out there? Yeah, I and mean, really it's it's our pre-preg laminate. I mean, we right. built the first sandwich uh, pre-preg carbon uh, sandwich constructed ski. Uh -huh. So we took all, all those years and Peter, our engineer, has always been playing and tweaking with stuff. Okay. Uh, so that laminate combined with the balsa core, you know, the balsa gives it, you know, really lightweight feel, uh -huh. um, but that laminate gives it that torsional rigidity. Got it, got it. And do these slarve? I know slarve is a DPS word that you know, <laughs> I'm trying to work into my vocabulary too. Yeah. Is there a little bit of uh, the same uh, the pivot feel that I felt with the earlier With the regular one yeah. yeah. So essentially, um, the Touring comes in the 112 RP2, the yeah. 99, the Caster 95. The 112 is going to have that nice nice slarve, you know, same turning rate of 15 to 18, um, but still, you know, something you can drive, you know, on kind of like some harder snow that we have here today. Uh -huh. Do you think you're going to take this carbon construction and move it into different skis in the in the DPS line? We're already talking about maybe you know one you know for Dreamtime or for next fall. Right, okay. um, you know they're available now like a short run and then yeah. we'll do the full run in the fall. And personally, I'm already looking for like a fatter one that we for one. So we'll see what we do. Yeah. Super fat and spooned. These aren't spooned. No, no. no yeah, we just went with the you know the more kind of bread and butter all mountain yeah. versatility. Great. Well, thank you very much, Jeremy. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, signing off, Andrew from Backcountry Skiing Canada here with Ermi Catino from DPS Skis. Thank you very much for listening. For more uh, fun stuff, go to backcountryskiingcanada.com. Ciao for now.